Welcome to Ace and Rich Live, Donald Candies. I just wanted to tell everybody a quick story about you before we get into the interview because it is a pleasure to have you here because you started out watching us on the hot seat for, <laughs> for quite some time and he asked us lots of questions, yeah. remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and we yeah. just told everybody we're following a new format and um to kick off 2024 we're no longer going with uh, the hot seat because we started out as a brand and you know the branding is very very important and uh we actually are rolling out with ace and rich live and this is going to be the, the brand that we're rolling out with exactly yeah. right. yep yes so what i like to do is um you know we're gonna ask you a few questions yes and uh just okay. sit back relax relax and, uh, you know enjoy the ride yeah cool. this is the hot seat cool. with live all right, so we're live right now. We're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. Uh, this video also will be posted, the recording on Rumble as well. Ooh. So let's um, ask you the first question here. Uh, can you briefly introduce yourself and share a bit about your background uh, in real estate and affiliate marketing? Because I know you, you know you're you do real estate as well. Yes. Well, my thing in real estate was uh, started about maybe twenty years ago. Um, I got involved with something, uh, a strategy called wholesaling, which I, in my niche was ugly, nasty, abandoned houses. Uh, that's what I do. And um, I, you know, contact the owner and uh, see if they want to sell the property, maybe maybe 50 cents on a dollar. And I would tie up the property uh, with 10 bucks uh on the contract for a certain amount of money maybe 50 uh 55 cents on the dollar and i would sell my contract in escrow to a cash buyer for maybe 65 or 70 cents on the dollar and that would you know constitute maybe well, at least in california uh we're talking about maybe 25 to fifty thousand dollars depending on the house and the numbers involved and so forth and um i would get paid in maybe 10 15 days whereas the cash buyer would receive the property the seller would see would receive their money and um i'm out the deal you know the cash buyer has to fix up the property and market it and sell it and so forth. But I, I, I'm paid in 10, 15 days to move on, but that's great. And I, I, I was very successful with that, but I started looking at affiliate marketing because I'm getting older and I can't mm -hmm. be out there all the time, you know, hunting down properties and so forth. And, um, you know, I, also take care of my mother and so i need money coming in consistently i was looking at affiliate marketing because first of all i thought it was cool you know to get paid you know just someone looking at your video and shit you know you're you're <laughs> you're, you're asleep and you wake up to a a, a, a ding on your uh email talking about ting, you guys. Right? yeah, yeah you know yeah. I, I thought that was awesome you know i was like wow you know if i could do that that would be great. And uh, so, you know, I started with a, a few things and, um, you know, I was just notorious for picking the wrong sponsor. I mean, for years, I mean, that just went on. And, um, you know, I, I paid for coaching stuff and, and it didn't work and blah, blah, blah. And it just went on and on and on. And um, one day I got to thinking, I said to myself, God, if I'm going through this, I know other people are going through it too. And um, one day, um, I started looking at, I found Ace and Rich online. And uh, one of the things I realized is that all the stuff they were talking about was great, but I didn't know how to mar really market this stuff. You know, I, I, you know, that was the real deal. And uh, I started, you know, bouncing around and, and I did went through the shiny eye, the shiny object routine, mm -hmm. and oh, you know, yeah. I, yeah, I went through all that crap, and uh, I lost a lot of money, and you know, but and for a minute, I was like, man, screw this crap, you know, I wasn't gonna do it anymore. But what 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 motivated you though? What motivated you to explore affiliate marketing? Because when people start affiliate marketing, they you know something has to happen, right? Like um, like for me, I remember it was more like 
I just had enough of a situation that I was in. Right. So, um, so what, what was it that motivated you, um, you know, to really explore affiliate marketing, to really make that decision to be well, a certain you know, person income? Yeah. Well, first of all, I started looking at the money these cats were making online. And, uh, I was like, you know, there's gotta be something to this. And, um, since I didn't know how to market, here, here's what I did. I started checking out how you guys really presented your stuff and how you guys got sales and what you guys were saying. And, you know, that kind of stuff. That's how I got started. I was like, okay. So, you know, I started looking at you as an example as to how you connected with people. And one of the things when I reached out to you was that, you always schedule the call. So I wrote that down. I was like, okay, schedule a call with, my, <laughs> with people. Okay, cool. So so one of the things that, you know, I you know, I, I, I would post in, in real estate groups and people would, you know, I would just, you know, just share my experience in my, in just answering the question. And a lot of people would contact me about mentorship. So, I was like, well, okay, how do I get together uh, something for these people? So I built a little beta test online uh, through uh, a PDF course I put together, six modules and so forth. And then um, I started checking out you guys talking about uh, lead magnets. Well, I didn't really know what that was. So... What I did was I found a, a really cool ebook online and um, I saved it so I could offer it as an ebook or a bonus or something like that. So I got the course together. And at first, you know, I didn't know anything about, you know, I didn't have a process or anything like that. You know, people would send me 500 bucks, you know, uh, through uh, Western Union. I drive around the corner, you know, get the money, come back, you know, email them the course. Boom. You know, that's, that's how I did it like that for like years, for years. Then I, I got with Ace, and I, you know, because I would, I would talk about asking about processes and nobody would tell me anything. So I would get what I got with Ace and I asked her about this. And uh, she gave me, you know, uh, Wave and, 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 and Zell and all this stuff. You know, I was like, wow. Okay. So I went to my bank. And I asked them about Zelle. They hooked me up, you know, right there on the spot. I was like, okay, boom. Okay. So now I, I have a way for people to pay me. So I thought I, I thought I was really cooking at that point. Mm -hmm. Then, um, you know, all the little courses and stuff, you know, I wanted to get with, I just really couldn't, you know, I, I couldn't afford it at the time. And um, one day, they, uh, cause I was following the uh, ace pretty, pretty, I was like, these guys are really on it. And, uh, they had a promotion on ace's birthday about HBA. Now I heard about HBA in the past and I was like, screw that crap. You know, I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I, I, I said, this is bullshit. I was like, you know, just like, um, <laughs> And, no, no, uh, I mean, no, know, that's, that, that's keeping it real. And, I mean. and, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm and, and I'm gonna tell you, you know, uh, my homie, my homie from way back, okay, Rob Four. I mean, you know, back in 2011, you know, was hitting me up with HB, and I was like, nah, you know. But I was following Ace and Rich, and it was on our birthday, and they were talking about HBA at 25 bucks, and I was like, hmm, I was like, okay, I can do, I can do that. I was like, but wait a minute, though. I don't know. I, you know, I do it. Play fun of killer. I don't know. I don't know. To, I don't know how to do that mess. But then uh, there was training involved for like a hundred, hundred and something. And I was like, hmm. I was like, okay. So I like Ace and Rich. You know, I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna just do it. You know, that that's just how it started. But then when I got with HBA. Um, you know, I know Mike, and plus I know Mike Hobbs from way back. So I was like, okay, this is this is legit, and because uh, I know Rob is tight. Yeah. So uh, I got you know with a training, 
And I started bouncing around and stuff, and I really wasn't getting anywhere. I was like, mm. But I said, you know what? This stuff is kind of deep. And uh, I really need to know how to market. So I decided, and, you know, uh, I was talking to Ace and Rich, and, it was t- and they gave me a whole bunch of stuff to get started. And I said, you know what? I'm going to do this step by step. And just, you know, and I got maybe through 30, maybe I, I maybe maybe 30% of it. But what I did was I started looking at the titles in the, in the, in the marketing back there. I just started looking at the titles. And I was like, hmm, this is kind of this is kind of tight. And one of the titles was close the sale. And I'm like, everybody wants to know how to do that shit. I was oh, like, this yeah. is, you know, yeah. I, you know, I was like, okay, this these guys are really coming with this with the strong stuff. And um, one day I was talking to Ace about about content, and she said, you know, just post about your experiences, you know, to to connect with your audience. Well, I just went through a, uh, a situation with uh, one of my students in real estate. And uh, I gave them every, everything, you know, the course, uh, a 152 page ebook for a bonus. Um, hang, on, hang on before we get the juicy details. Yeah, yeah. We still got and more they, to ask you before they, we get there. No, yeah, we got more questions. We got more through. questions to give you, man. Well, 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 long story short, <laughs> long story short, they wouldn't do anything and they kept yeah. complaining. So I had to let them go. Ah, and, I, go. and I had to put and I posted about that on my page. And I, 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 I don't mean we noticed you. some technical issues yeah, going on in your end. We your, noticed your mirror. Your, or, your, no, no, it? your webcam is on an automatic zoom or something yeah, because it just keeps going I, I on your face. Yeah, it, I know. I know it does that. I don't know how to fix that. Yeah, um, one day we are, me and you got to sit together. I got to have to disable that for you. Aww. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I know you guys can do it. And um, so, so we got another question for you. Yeah, um, all right. For you, time. Okay. So okay. obviously he shared, you, you know, you shared some very interesting points about understanding marketing, also going through the challenges of your mindset yeah. because you had yeah. this fixed mindset, right? It's an old paradigm yeah. Yeah. that he's yeah. been fixated on. And then when he started diving through the training in yes. the actual affiliate program, it started putting him on the right course and he started going through it step by step. Right. But something happened. And that's my next question. Um, obviously, there were challenges and obstacles you faced along the way. So how did you overcome these challenges? Well, what it, what it was about was um, I just decided that I was just determined that I was going to do this thing. And I realized that you can't do it unless you really understand what you're doing. And you have to be able it's, it's a it's a learn. I realized that it's a learned skill. And um, I just decided that I was going to, you know, understand what the heck is going on with this thing and uh, try to and, and, and make an attempt to make it happen. Um, I knew that it was going to be uh, some failure along the way because you're learning because I'm learning. But um, I, I, I felt like I'm, you know, everyone that has made it big in this business they uh, they have to have gone through the same thing i'm going through in the beginning so you know and 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 they did it so you know i can start doing it too now i'm not you know big like these guys i i just i'm just basically getting started but um i post about my experience um you know the the, the response was great People were like, hey, you know, and t- talking about I'm a great coach and so forth. Somebody contacted me. Um, I followed Ace's routine and scheduled the call. You know, I talked to her and her son for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And boom, a, a thousand bucks right to my Zell. Oh, you know, oh. hold up, hold up, hold up. You're brand new to affiliate marketing. Right. You have been in for like how long? In in like, well, I was work, working in, with us basically. Oh, uh, work uh, like what? Yeah, six months. Six months, okay. And all the things that you ran into, you got your mom, you got to take care of. You're worried about the future. You're worried about this financial situation. Everything is weighing on you, mm-hmm. and you just dove right, right. in into our our right. training that we actually share with you. And we spent some time right. with you, right? Even yeah. on those consults. Yeah, you made appointment yeah, yeah. appointment. And like, we never gave up on you. And then based on everything that was shared, you took the execution. 
And now you just made your first high ticket sale. Because anytime somebody says they made a thousand bucks online, that's a high ticket. That's yeah. a high ticket, man. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So how you do know, you feel? Uh, how do you feel, honestly? Like, what was it like uh, when you got the notification that you saw it in your bank account that you just made a thousand bucks? Um, it, it was overwhelmingly great. Um, I was like, this is what's happening. Okay. And I was like, I mean, I celebrated first of all, um, you know, nothing big, just with the Johnny Pastrami, you know, a big place. <laughs> uh, big you know, he got his grub on, he? got his grub on, y'all. Yeah, I got, you know, I got me and my mom a big pastrami and everything. You know, that was That's cool. That's awesome. And, no, and then, yeah. um, and I got to thinking about, you know, okay, all right, now it's time to take the next step. Okay, uh, down, my eyes man. got, my eyes got big for a minute. Start talking about how to build another catcher page, you know, for this business and, and work this, <laughs> and work this business. <laughs> You know, but I said, wait a minute now, this is slow down. Okay. Um, I just think a quick, what quick I inter inter interlude here, guys, just to be, be frank with you and be honest and transparent because Ace and Rich keep it real. I want you guys to distinguish that this $1,000 sale was not a resale of an affiliate product or a service. This was Donald Candy's own service yep. for what he does with real estate. Yep. Yes. Well, I figured, you know, in, in, in HBA, they talk about, how you can build a capture page or whatever it is for every business that you have. Yes. Well, yeah. I got, well, when I thought about that, I said, well, the training has got to be the same thing. You know, I mean, they got to be training you on whatever it is you want to do. Exactly. So, Your passion. So, you know, so, I mean, how can they tell you to build a capture page for any business that you want and not have the training for that too? So that's the I beautiful got, yeah. thing about that product, though. You know, you know, you know I yeah. mean, that's the thing. When you look at the product itself, that product is designed specifically for any business. And, and, and not only that, but the, the, the streamline effect, the simplicity of how to set up these pages makes it so much easier than ClickFunnels, so much easier than any other funnel builders I've ever used in the past. And I've used funnel builders for so many years. Uh, and I got to say, this is the best one. Streamlined, simple, trainings, easy to understand. Um, I mean, the fact, and we all know building relationships is crucial in affiliate marketing, right? But let me ask you this. How did you go about establishing connections and partnerships that led you to this high ticket sale? Well, what I did was is just connecting with people. I would, um, you know, and they would have maybe a, a specific question that they yeah, asked. People are going to want to know, you know what I mean? People yeah. here, <laughs> they want to know. They, 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 had, they would have a, a specific question in a group, you know, they asked. And people would respond in different ways. But uh, based on my experience of being in the business, I would respond. And then they would see that and then direct message me on, you know, hey, you know, uh, can you teach me this? Or uh, what's, what do you charge for coaching? Blah, blah, blah. And I would just, you know, respond to them. And uh, that was pretty much it, you know, connecting with them. And, um they would ask me, you know, what, what, I, what do I offer and so forth. I would explain that, and then, um, you know, they would ask me how much it would cost. I would explain to them how much it is and what they receive, and and they would make a decision right then and there on whether or not to pay me. So you and, know, I want to take a step back here because I remember when you called us and you know we set up an appointment, we talked and everything. I noticed that. You know, you were struggling again, like you were saying, with the mindset. You were struggling yes. for a while with the mindset. Yes. Um, what impact did Ace and Rich have for you to get over that that struggle that you were dealing with? What 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 was it? What what was a pivotal point that changed everything? Well, um, one day um, I was at the doctor, and. Um, the doctor came to me and explained to me, you know, the medicine that I needed, the medication that I needed. And this particular medication was not covered by my, my insurance. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, I need, and I needed to have it and it was expensive, you know, and, uh, that pissed me off. I mean, I, I was really mad that day. And um, I had to pay for it, which I did, you know, 
but I was going to be broke for three weeks. And uh, I got to thinking about, you know, the business. And I'm going to be honest with you. I just sat back in my chair and I said, I'm going to do this shit, man. That's exactly what I told myself. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, that's exactly what I told myself. And I said, okay, um, you know, the the learning curve may be may take a minute but that's less painful than not doing it and not having the at at least at least even even if i didn't make any money at least I had the chance to make some fucking money. I mean, that's that that's the way I was looking at it. You this know, video's not gonna get monetized. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, that that's just what I was saying. No, that's all right. It's raw. It's true. Raw. It's and, raw and, and, I, and, I, and I said, I said, okay, but okay, I'm gonna have to go through the training step by step. I'm gonna have to learn what the heck is really going on. Pull here. up your big boy pants and learn. Yeah, and, and, yeah you know, and uh, and that's just how how it 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 happened. And yeah. uh, now I didn't anticipate making any money really quick, but um, you know, I, I, I made the post. Um, yeah, me and you have conversations in the past. That I, I remember me and you had a conversation in the past where you know you came to us and I was talking to you for a while. We spent a lot of time. I remember this one night, me and you were talking for quite a bit, and I was telling you um, some things about sometimes we don't want to do shit, right? It's easier right. not to do it, and I said. The, the hardest part for people is when the cards are not in your favor, especially that day, are you still willing to stand up and show up? You know what I mean? Remember when we had that right. discussion? Right. And, and I believe that was a turning point for you because, you, you know, it, it, I noticed after that conversation, I saw a different part of you. Like I, I saw you like transform into that relentless entrepreneur that we always talk about. Right. Right. Like, like, we know that it takes that relentless of not giving up, right? Making a stand for ourselves because in reality, you know, we do matter. Everyone here matters. But the question is, do they believe it in themselves? And the only way to believe that is when you don't feel like doing it, are you still standing up and are you still doing what you're supposed to be doing even that day when the card's not in your favor? Because you will be challenged, right? I always say that, you know, we always desire things in our lives but those things we desire, are they really important or are we just following somebody else, right? Mm-hmm. And if we're just following somebody else and we're not thinking about our own desires and what's important to us and what really matters, then when you're faced with a challenge, it's going to feel like a, like a big boulder on your shoulder, like a 10-ton boulder on your shoulders. However, if we really do the homework and we really think about the things that really matter to us and are important to us, when, a challenge, when we're faced with a challenge, when that challenge comes up, it feels like a small pebble we could just flick off our shoulder because we, you know, we've done our homework. We realize what's more important to us. And that keeps us more headstrong when those challenges do, you know, and I mean challenges like mindset challenges because anybody could do the work, but how are you feeling while you're doing the work? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yes. and, and, I, and that, that's when I noticed that when we had that conversation that night, that, especially that night, I remember we were on, you know, on zoom for a while. I remember that. And I remember when I was talking about that, that's when I started seeing a transformation in you. Like something just, something clicked. And that's when you were like, I'm going to do this shit. Because, you know, we get to a point as humans that we've had enough. Because we've done so much already to a certain point that we could only do it the other way for so long until we realize like, oh, crap, I've been doing this the wrong way for the whole time. I've been thinking about yeah. it, the, yes. you know, the wrong way, that's true. you know, for a while. Mm-hmm. So... You can only go down that road so long until you realize, oh, my God, I'm at the fork in the road again. I need to make a left now instead of a right. Because I've always made a right, and that right turn has never really served me. Now it's time for me, finally, to make a left in this nice fork in the road, right? So, And this is what we see a lot with entrepreneurs, especially when they're getting started or they've been doing it for a while and they're struggling. They're, they're just trying to find that easy route, which is making that right. But when they make that left and they realize, oh, this is what it's really like. And they really understand it. Then they can start getting the results and they can expect to get those results because they know what it takes now. You see what I'm saying? I think I think a lot of times uh, people also need to understand that it's very important to be able to connect in some way with your 
sponsor or the or the or your trainer or your coach. Uh, you know, I would listen to the hard times that you guys went through, you know, with the Motel Six and you know all that type of stuff. And a lot of people don't realize, you know, um, I had to live in the motel for a minute. You know, I paid for my mother's cancer surgery. I was broke. I, I put everything on the line to get her through that. And, um, you know, um, thank God I had real estate, but it was the money that I used from that, you know, to get her through that. You know, and that, and that yeah. took a minute. You know, it wasn't just the surgery. I mean, the aftercare, all that, you know, that was that was tough, you know, yeah. but you know, and my mother's cancer free now, but, um, you know, I had to put everything on the line, sell my cars. I had to, sell, I had to, I had to give it all up, you know, to get her through that. I'm her only child. So, right you know, it, it's yeah. just me and her. So I remember going through the motel routine and, you know, paying every week at 11 o'clock and all that crap, you know, it was nuts, you know, but, um, so, and I was like, you know, these guys went through it, you know, I can go through it. Um, so and I decided that you know I was going to try to make something happen. You awesome. Know? Now I didn't really I didn't know that I was going to get paid a grand, you know. But uh, the one the real odd thing was is that my course was a beta test for five hundred bucks, you know, for years, and it wasn't until I was talking to you guys about raising my price, and you know, and really, you know, not only that, but you want to over deliver yes you know also because you know you, yeah i you remember having yeah. the yeah. conversation sorry um i remember having the conversation with you donald and you know and i said to you jim rome said it best that you don't get paid by the hour right you get paid by the value you bring to the hour right and i told right. you you ain't worth 500 dollars. i told you you worth more yeah a lot more yeah yep. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. And uh, I struggled for a minute to figure out what price point I was going to make. These guys, some of these guys are charging eight, you know, eight grand, ten grand. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, really nuts, you know. And uh, depends on the value. To one yeah, but it depends on the value that you're, I mean, interrupt you, but it depends on the value that you're bringing, right? Yes. That's why they can charge eight right. grand, grand. Exactly. Things like that. Exactly. Right. And I, I, and I realized that, that I had to be different. Uh, than some of the people that I would check out there, you know, how they were presenting their stuff, you mm -hmm. know, what they were charging, um, you know, and, I, and one of the things that I realized is that, you know, they would give so much and then you have to pay additional for the upsell and all that. And the uh, person struggling, especially, well, pretty much in any business, but I know in real estate, you know, that, you know, that upsell mess, you know, really drives people crazy, you know, because, you know, they're getting started. They don't have much money in the beginning anyway. So, I decided to bring a price point that would give them everything at one time so they don't have to do anything else. You mm -hmm. know, of course, the course, the contracts, bonuses, whatever, boom. Uh, you know, they also get, you know, 90 minutes with me on Skype, you know, um, in, in a beautiful bonus. Go, you know, going over the bonus. course. So, you know, so they, so I, I try to give it all to them for one price and uh, they feel good with that. I've had, you know, clients tell me, you know, I paid, you know, Dean graduate so and so, you know, for, you know, fifteen grand. I didn't get as much as you gave me, you know. So uh, when I hear that kind of stuff, it makes me realize, okay, I can go further with it. But now, since I I did make this thousand um, dollars, you guys helped me with my capture page with HBA and got me going. So now awesome. I want to invest. I want to invest a little paid marketing. Nice. Uh, you know, to get that going, you know, beautiful. Uh, take 20%, you know, with the re referral that you gave me, uh, contact this person, get it started. So tomorrow I'm going to be doing that because I want to develop that. Start so make, see if I can make a few sales or at yeah. least, you know, uh, get my, uh, the thing going through, um, a Weber. Yeah. Start know, building that list. Yeah. Build a relationship. Build, building my list and stuff Your like asset. that. Yeah. You know, so, so that's what I'm going to do, you know, with, yes. with that money. You know, I'm going to you see, I'm going to get that going. So, Donald, we got a final question for you of the evening. Yeah. What advice would you give others that are starting out in affiliate marketing and looking to monetize their expertise through high ticket sales? You know, take the training, you know, whatever training that's available. Uh, do that. 
um, mm -hmm. because that's the most important thing. Uh, realize that it's going to be a learning curve. It's not going to be, you know, money overnight. But if you want to be good at it, you have to know what you're doing, you know, because it's a learned skill. Uh, so take the time, you know, to, you know, to invest, to learn what you're doing. And as you're doing it, as you're learning it, implement what you're learning, you know, give it a shot. You know, look, yeah. that's what I did. I'm not even 30 percent through it. And I put together a post and made a grant. Nice. So, you know, so, you know, continue to go through the course, learn everything, understand everything, you know, uh, get so far, you know, you know, give it a try. You know, if you're going to, you know, if they're talking about video marketing, whatever, you know, learn what's happening there, do a video or two. If they're talking about uh, attraction marketing or content, whatever, you know, put together a few posts, you know. And don't try to market everything on all the all the, all the platforms. Don't try to be, you know, Mr. Guru platform dude. You know, you know, pick one platform, maybe two. You know, work those strong. You know, and don't move and try to master what's happening. You know, don't try to move on until you've mastered, you know, a few things. You know, then move on. So it's gonna it's gonna be a minute. But mm -hmm. you know, I think if you take six months or I don't know whatever however time you have. You know, and get and get so far, then you start seeing, you know, the results. But also understand that, you know, it's not about money right away. You know, yeah, that's the money right away is cool, but you don't want that all the time. You know, you want to build relationships with people. You know, so because if you build relationships with them, and what if you have more than one program? You know, if, if they dig you, you know, they'll pretty much, you know, pay for whatever it is you're doing. So you want to be able to, you know, you know, build that list, you know, and you and just, you know, and just because people sign up with you, you just can't have them sign up with you. You got to connect with them. Uh, you know, I don't know if you're going to do it through a group or whatever, how you do it, but, you know, you got to be able to reach out to them, you know, on a, some sort of consistent basis, you know, so in order to, because, you know, you don't want your list to die, you know, if you yeah, get yeah. it, you know, yeah. you want to, you know, you want to, you know, you know, keep in contact with peeps, you know, so, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, yeah, the relationships off. are important. Yeah. 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 And you want them, and you, and you want them to be able to depend on your content on, you know, and, and know that you're, if you're going to be showing up on Tuesdays, you know, then make sure you're ready on Tuesdays, you know, that way they yeah. know, you know, on Tuesdays, you know, I'm going to get with Don, you know, I'm going to get with Ace or, you know, whatever, you know, then, so you, you got to do that. You awesome. Know. Thank Speaking you, man. of building relationships and having connections and a commonality, so, what's great yeah. is that you shared so much yeah. about that. And we talk a lot about that on the live about connecting yeah. people. So yeah. we're going to ask these guys, uh, we're going to get these guys questions. They're coming in. Yep, we're going to let now. you go. We're going to wrap things up. We're going to wrap you. things up. Say hello to mom. Okay. And God bless Good. you. All and right. thank you so much. Congratulations on your first high Congratulations, ticket sale. Congratulations, Doc. We got a lot more to teach you. Yeah, so that you can make <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm <laughs> ready. All I'm right. ready. Awesome. Okay, guys. Have a great night, Donald. Thank you for you stopping too. by. Live. All right. Take care. Thank you, Bye, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>